That's right, Axel is back again, and today we're going to talk about Selectus. That's right, we're going to talk about good old Selectus that everybody knows about in Expedite. Because you know what? I've reached it to the top, to the top of what's going on with this company. This company, no more Selectus. I'm Solera, whatever you guys want to call yourselves. So, we're going to talk about the circus today. The Solera Circus. See, you get your own little special background, Selectus. The Selectus Circus. That's what I like to call it. Circus of Clowns. That's what we're going to call it. Circus of Clowns. So, let's get the show started. And uh, I'm going to put out some information. I'm going to discuss this as best as I can, in my professional opinion. So they had this out. They've got a couple little ads and baloney stuff up. Select this is a transportation management system, leading load board alliance. Select this is a vetted load board alliance. That, that's the part. That's the part to drive. The vetted load board alliance. This is where I like to say this American word. Bullshit. Big bullshit. Okay, on January 11th, they had another little thing up. Select this load board. Let's fleet owners max out revenue on extra capacity or find space on other fleets to handle their excess freight. Explore the other benefits of select this load board. It has here, select this low board, easily share and receive loads with other carriers. Let me get this. Let me. They said easily share and receive loads with other carriers. What do you mean share loads with other carriers? Broker is not going to word it like that. Broker share loads with other carriers because that other doesn't play a part there. So this to me is like carrier to carrier. Other carriers to meet transportation needs. Really, select this. 
Hey, select this. Listen, you need to go through your whole system and everything because you, you, you guys are lost. So they had this, uh, wherever I get the stuff from, it's either on the LinkedIn or you can go on their website. You know, I just took some quick screenshots. Even up there on the top right, that arrow says, Selectus is a carrier-to-carrier -carrier alliance. I never heard of nothing like There's no such thing as carrier-to-carrier, -carrier in, my, in my professional opinion. If it's carrier-to-carrier, -carrier, that means it's double brokering, okay? It's double brokering. It should be broker-to-carrier, okay? I don't know where to get this carrier-to-carrier. -carrier. Choose your words wisely, Selectus. On the bottom... Do I need to have a truck to join Selectus? Yes, we only allow carriers into our network. Who's writing this stuff? There's not just carriers in their network. There's brokers also. I, I mean, we, we only allow carriers into our network. We are not available to dispatching services or freight brokers. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said it's not available to dispatching services. I want everybody to remember that clearly what they wrote there. And then I don't even know why they put or freight brokers. Well, I'm confused here, Select. I'm really confused. You're confusing the shit out of me. Let's get to the next slide. So here, double. they post this on their Facebook. Double brokering schemes are on the rise this year. Explore these tips to help protect yourself and your business from double brokering. Oh, really? Really? Okay. You said it, Selectus. You said it. On uh, their LinkedIn, in the freight industry, oh, they had this the other day. So this was, uh, it says two days, but I think I got it from about three, four days ago. Actually, a broker brought it to my attention, this article. In the freight industry, instances of double brokering have skyrocketed since December Take a look at these tips to learn how to avoid becoming a victim of double brokering and how Selectus can help. And then when you click on that HTTPS, you get the article. Uh, did I not put the article? Yeah, maybe it's jumbled up. Anyways, let's get to the next slide. So this is what interests me, okay? And I I'm notorious. I've caught so many people with access to select this it's documented i have it in my emails I, I, it's a lot of work to catch them i catch them i i you know i put it all in the select this usually they'll remove them but lately lately when i hit the mother load they don't seem too interested they want to like turn a blind eye so I didn't even I didn't even turn this one in yet. I, I didn't even turn it in. I'm just I'm just not in the mood. But it was it was probably good that I didn't because I was looking at it again. I'm like, whoa, something is wrong here. So this company is called Heavy Detailing LLC. Okay, they're on Selectus. Uh, get to the next slide here. Man, I got my slides jumbled up. I don't know how the heck I did that. Anyways, we're gonna get to everything. Don't worry. This is just a little comment I came across on Facebook. You see stuff like this all the time. Literally get the same load from Selectus to my email from posted loads. I feel your pain as well. Well, hold up a minute. Ar Ar Arnella, usually if it's posted loads, that is Selectus. So whose Selectus are you using? Because you don't even know that it's the same. The posted loads are the Selectus loads. So you literally get the same loads from Selectus to your email from posted loads. Really? So you're not a Selectus member, or you would know that. Yogi had a comment. You see stuff like this all the time on Facebook. I'm an owner-operator in upstate New York. Can I pay you for access to Selectus? I hear this like, like they're shopping at McDonald's and Walmart. Unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. Like, you guys just want to, like, skate through life for everything for free. And then you wonder why you, you can't succeed. Ernest here. The problem is select this overcharging for the value it is giving. Hey, Anatoly, I agree with you 100%. If you would have asked me three, four years ago, I would have said, no, it's, it's fair. Lately, it ain't worth 99 cents. It literally is not worth 99 cents. 
Uh, Ernest goes on to say, it's why I regret my selectors contract. I, I don't blame you. I'm sure a lot of you have regrets. Would you mind if I inbox you, sir? And then no problem, blah, blah, blah. Next slide. So here's how it starts. I, I get this messenger from Miguel Angel Ramos. Uh, he was advertising for access to Selectus. And he says, $100 to add as a user on Selectus. It's a great price. I put, how I know it's not a scam. He said, if you want, you can call me. He puts his phone number, Miguel. My company is www.freightlineusa.com. We're going to get to all that. Freight Dispatch. I said, can I try it first? He said, I can give you access for five minutes. Log in and you can pay me. I just want Share Lowboard to help me to pay it. Really? We can't pay for select this. Because it is too expensive. Really? You think it's too expensive? I said, I won't be home for another 15 minutes. That's too late. He said, uh, can we do it in the morning? About 10 a.m. I said, okay, just text me first. Make sure I'm not snoozing. Sure. What's your number? Like, this is, I said, you are texting me a messenger. What do you mean, give you my, you, you got me a messenger already. Okay, he says. He says, okay. Next, next morning. I said, morning. Good morning. Do you want to log in? Not, not even, not even, oh, good morning to you too, sir. How are you? Just, would you like to log in? I said, okay, I'm ready. He gives me this user, mramis84. I said, where do I go first? He gives me password. Gives me the selectus.com. Gives me the login. I says, ask me for corporate ID? Question mark. He gives me his corporate ID. He says, are you in? I said, I think so. Looking now. He said, great. Go to load board. <sighs> I then I get him later on and I tell him, do you know I'm already a selectus member and you violated your agreement? It was a mistake. We did not know that it could not be done. Yeah, okay, oh, oh, okay, bro. Okay, bro. You, you, you didn't know. For anywhere from $400 to $800 a month, you, you, you just assume that, okay? Yeah. You just, I mean, even, you, you, you don't watch Google, bro? I mean, Netflix just turned all that crap off for everybody sharing passwords and crap. How, how could you not? Like, what moon are you from? Sorry, I'm the one guy exposing everything wrong and expedite, I tell him. Welcome to Axel's jungle of crap. Okay. Now, if you guys are on Selectus, you get my messages every once in a while when I catch these guys. Because, you know, it has the pre-template. This one was for a lost truck. And I, you know, I throw out a message to everybody. Axel was here. This guy tried selling me access to Selectus for $100. End the madness and expose the bad players like the idiot Hippics and all the other Load Hive or other software thieves. Axel is always watching, and you're all welcome. You know, listen, you guys got to at least buy me a coffee or something, man. A sandwich, you know. S send a little treat. Show some appreciation. Because what I want to do, I want this crap to grow big. If I can, I'd like to put one or two people on the road and start keeping an eye on people. I think that's what needs to be done. I, I think we need, like, our own oversight committee and expedite. And then I put additional info. Subscribe to my podcast. I'm exposing everything and everyone, show by show. Leave my nice email and everything. No, I don't hide nothing. Open, honest, transparent. <sighs> okay, anyways, let's get to them. So this was ground zero. I look up heavy detailing. They're an active carrier. One unit out of North Miami. And then I, I just, I, I put it aside. I didn't look anymore. And then for some reason the other day I was looking again. I said, whoa, what's all this? So remember now, we got Heavy Detailing LLC. They're the Selectus account holder. We got the corporation uh, screenshot here. I call them Ground Zero because this is where it all started from. The signature is this uh, Leon Jose or Jose Leon. He's the main guy. And then there's two managers here, Gomez Alvaro and Maria S. Uh, Vito. Okay. But 
when I'm in their account, I see this. And I didn't catch it right away because he had MRAMIS, MRAMIS84, you know, and then you got to select the support. But I'm looking at the email over there, info at Freightline USA. And I'm like, wait a minute, let, let's go back. So we got heavy detailing LLC is the select this account holder, right? But this email said info at FreightlineUSA.com. So I labeled them A. FreightlineUSA.com. I said, say it's not true. Say say the cracker crumbs. I mean, I, I follow the crumbs. The crumbs, they're so large, I swear to God, I can bake a whole loaf of bread. So we get to Freightline USA. And this is this Miguel Angel Ramos. This is a dispatch company. They got their own LLC and everything. So now we got two LLCs. One's holding the account for Selectus. This guy is also out of Miami. Okay? Gets better. So, we got their website here. Look, right here. English and Spanish, if you guys need Spanish too. Freight Dispatch Services. This guy's got a whole website for dispatching using a one-unit carrier authority who has the account on Selectus. Gets better. Flatbed, dry van, reefer, power only, box truck, sprinter, van. I can tell you right now, I bet you 100% that authority for one vehicle is not getting any audits or inspections for flatbeds, dry vans, reefers, box trucks. This is crazy. This is bonkers. Bonkers. Broker credit check, load planning, rate negotiation. He said rate negotiation. Top paying loads, invoicing, and carrier packets. Look at this. You see the phone number? 786-580-7318. Let me make sure there's nothing else down here. It's got all the sign up, all this crap. It's got, it's got all this, like, Discover, Amex, everything. Like, the, Look at this number. 786-580-7318. Let's go back up here, I believe. So you see the phone number, 786-580-7318. Same phone number, those top two, same phone number, okay? One is for Freightline USA. But now we got Ramis Logistics. Let's keep on going. Let's shoot back down, same phone number. So we saw the website. Now we get to, I look up this Ramis Logistics. I mean... Please explain to me, people, what the hell is going on here? What, 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 seriously, what the hell is going on? Let, let's look up this company now. Oh, another authority. Busted. So we got one authority of one vehicle that has the account for Selectus that has a dispatch with an LLC on their account, says they're moving all kinds of units, okay? And that dispatch also has this authority with, the, with his number, but this authority has its own number, and this is out of Dallas. I, I mean, what, what's going on here? And this one has two units. So we got two carriers, companies, and a dispatch company sharing one account on Selectus. But both carriers don't even have their numbers on Selectus. They have the dispatch guy. This, this is fucking crazy fucking crazy here's their corporation two units they're out of texas or whatever they're out of dallas so we're operating on miami we're operating out of dallas we got two care authorities we got the dispatch company now we got ali Izidin. who knows who knows if he just crossed the border or even has papers who knows if he's even legit because the way these guys are running stuff this this is crazy next gets better it gets freaking better because let's go back up here. You see this address? Nine something, six, six, one or whatever. Uh, apartment nine, nine, ten, Dallas, Texas. This one over here says nine thousand vantage point driver apartment, six, thirteen, Dallas, Texas. So the LLC address, the 
MC address, they don't not they don't match. They don't freaking match. Okay? Look on the very bottom. The office address, it doesn't even match. That's three of them. So they got a mailing address and a registered office address on the corporation. And on the left there, there's a different address for the MC. But when you open up open corporates, there's a whole nother address. So now we got four addresses. Four addresses. <laughs> four addresses linked to one, one carrier who doesn't even have a Selectus account, whose number is not even in the list on the other guy's Selectus account. The dispatch guy got his number. Okay, Ramis Insurance. Of course, same crap. Replaced, replaced. Uh, this one looks like it's good to... Uh, or actually, February 26, it was replaced. So they just did something with the insurance. They just got their authority March 3rd, 2021. So... What are they? Uh, April 22, uh, three years now, two years, you know, and and, and, and they've been getting away with this crap for two years, this nonsense. Nobody's caught this. Axel's got to catch everything. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Nobody checks anything. Next. You know, select this. You, 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 you put their little funny stuff up here. Drivers are distracted by their phones for at least 10% of their driving time. Make the roads safer for everyone. Yeah. You're allowing all these app companies to put all these apps in these drivers' hands. A lot of them don't even have commercial insurance. They don't have the correct insurance. And now you just helping cause problems on the road. Because I'm telling you now, van or not, box truck or not, a lot of these guys, they cannot drive. And now you're putting an app in their hands where these guys are like crackheads looking for a load every day. Get your head out of your ass and drive safely. Okay. So we got three donkeys. Donkey one, heavy detailing LLC with the Selectus account. Donkey number two, Ramis Logistics. Using or whatever using the Selectus account from Heavy Detailing. And then on the far right, donkey number three, Freightline USA, dispatch company out of Miami. So a carrier and a dispatcher both out of Miami, two donkeys, and another carrier out of Dallas, third donkey, all using one Selectus account, showing one to two vehicles. Look, one authority has one vehicle, the other one has two vehicles, but yet this dispatch guy probably trying to book God knows how many dry vans, reefers, and everything through Selectus. And some of you dumbass, crooked brokers, and you know who you are, I'm going to start bringing you guys to light too. Not the good guys. Trust me, there's a lot of good guys. But you guys are the ones that are helping put this crap like this. You help it. Okay. And I'm asking the good brokers, start reporting the other brokers. That's what needs to be done. Report the bad carriers. Report the bad brokers. Report the illegal activities. Don't wait for Axel to come. So we got to select this Selectus article they put up. I believe it was on Selectus. Okay, in the, uh, the bottom section's the part. What you can do to avoid double brokering so select this you want to post an article about double brokering when you help you help to promote it one of the first things any carrier should do to avoid double brokering is to verify their load board listings no crap uh, really really select this some red flags may be the offer is too good to be true either offering an unusually low price or an unrealistically quick delivery time Check other low boards to see if the same shipment is posted in other places at different rates. You can also check whether shipment details are the same, such as the weight and delivery address. Always work with trusted partners, even if that means doing a little research. Well, Axel's doing all kinds of research. Been doing research. Been reporting a lot of stuff to you. 
But you want to turn a blind eye. You need to start firing people over there, too, that aren't doing their job. Really. Uh, read reviews carefully to ensure you're working with upstanding professionals. Professional. Throw that out the door. Throw that word out the door. Using a vetted load board. Ooh, man, we can't even get through the paragraph. Vetted load board. Really, it's vetted? Bullshit. Bullshit again. It's not vetted. You're liars. False. Can help, and networking and building relationships with brokers can help you find other reliable resources. How selective solutions help prevent double brokering. They're, they're putting it. How selective solutions help prevent double brokering. Unlike other low boards, the Selectus low board is an alliance of vetted carriers. Again, you're liars. Bullshit. I call bullshit again. Liars. Offers more than 26,000 vehicles for your freight. You know what? Those numbers that are posted when you log in, I bet you they're highly overinflated. Because they're either overinflated or underinflated because there's so many people on there using other people's access. This this is false. It's all false. These numbers are false. Okay? If you're in need of capacity, use our network to find the best option for expedited, partial load, dry van, refrigerated, and flatbed freight. Come come on, come on, come on, come on. This is let me get to the next slide, man. I got a freaking headache. So recently, because they've been getting hammered, especially with all the stuff we've been turning in, they add this stuff to the emails. This email is for licensed users of Selectus and is subject to the terms and conditions of the Selectus service agreement. Any attempt to forward or otherwise access the contents of this email via scrapping, bots, or other electronic means by unlicensed users is a violation of the service agreement intellectual property infringement and may result in termination of access to selectus and or subject to additional licensing fees due upon notice a hey, selectus you playing a spin master game or are you just messing with people's minds really i gave you a list of 16 of them using apps and they're still on there they've been caught for double brokering 100 percent. okay i'm making this public 100 percent you have been notified the evidence has been brought forth and you continue to turn a blind eye and be negligent to the fact that your system is allowing double brokering okay your system you've been told who is doing what and you still do not act i'm letting you know okay i'm letting you know I'm not messing around anymore. So let's get to it. One, so select this. Numerous contract violations from Selectus members and non members giving Load Hive and other, others access for apps because trust me, I got more. I got another software company, okay? This is so huge and out of control that everybody's going to start knowing. I'm speaking up. I know a lot of brokers are speaking up. But now it's time. Number two, I estimate easily from what I've seen on Selectus and what's going on, 100 plus unauthorized users on Selectus. Now, when I say 100 plus unauthorized users, I'm just talking about one that could branch and make more. This could be two, three, four hundred. That's how bad it is. But I'm telling you, minimum hundred plus. Minimum. If I was to go through select this whole system, it, 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 it would be like a garbage dump. I'm telling you. You guys want to believe me or not? All you got to do is look at the docs and everything I'm putting out. Next, uh, 100% Selectus is devaluing Alliance member contracts and membership. You know, when I first got on Selectus, it was about four years ago, I paid $3,500 just to sign up. 
I heard guys before me were paying around seven, eight thousand years ago when it first started. I pay a little over four hundred a month. Now, I see you guys are running stuff like a hamburger happy meal special. Ninety nine dollars get signed up for a month or two. You just devalued every single alliance member. You got people out here with this trucking industry the way it is, they can't even pay their insurance on their vans and trucks. And now you just threw them all into our stew. $99. Seriously, you guys are that hard up for $99? This is this is crazy. I, I, I don't even think a lot of people know what's going on. The, hey, leave comments on the video when it's done, brokers. Reach out to me. You got my stuff. $99 some of them are offering these guys. $99 to sign up. You just devalued guys that have been on select fraud. You just devalued. Give me my money back. What, what did I pay that money for then? And why are we paying now what we're paying and you're allowing this to happen? That's what I want to know. Selectus's long-term disregard and negligence has resulted in rampant theft of service and private information, thus contributing to fraud, collusion, scams, corruption, double brokering, and massive monetary loss for brokers, carriers, as well as drivers. I want everyone to let that sink in, okay? Rewind the video. Pay attention to the loads that you're posting and what's coming through. I'm working with quite a few brokers, you know, and, and, and some of them new stuff. I've provided some stuff. We've collaborated. We've got together. And, and trust me, we know it's out of control. Some of them are even going to the TIA, you know. And all I can say is I believe there's going to be some lawsuits. I think there has to be. I don't think this can go like this because you're playing with the freight industry. You're, you're playing with this country, with the transportation, what's going on. Okay. Select this. You have failed the whole alliance, failed the whole alliance. I don't know who's running your operation over there. You got people from Canada, Mexico, United States. Nobody even knows. You're, you're sending, when I, I see other guys, when they send in complaints, you're sending their stuff to the spam folder. Seriously, that's how you treat those members? That member's been on longer than me. I'm pissed off, and it's not going away, Selectus. I swear, I'll make more and more and more videos to expose what is going on. Somebody better get their head out of their ass. And I'll tell you right now, I'm willing to go through your whole system. If you need a pro like me to go through your whole system to show you how corrupted it is and what's truly wrong, if you really want to learn and listen and fix the damage, just ask. Axel is here. But it ain't going to be free. It ain't going to be no $99, okay? It's really pathetic. So, Solera, Selectus, Omnit however many names you guys want to call yourselves, you get the donkey of the day. So that's the fourth donkey. You're donkey number four. That's why this episode was called Pimp My Ride, because all you're doing is pimping out these drivers, everybody. You're like a pimp. You just want your money. You don't care what happens to the carriers. You don't care what happens to the drivers. You just set up a, a, an escort service, a pimp service, and you want to be the pimp and collect your money, okay? Like the carriers, the drivers, the brokers, like we're dogs out here. Well, I'm the big dog. I got the big mouth on this big dog, okay? And I'm not putting up with it. Fix it. Do what you're supposed to do. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of seeing the emails of this crap, what's going on. And another thing, any of you people out there that are new and you drivers, I'm telling you, you get on Selectus and I catch you, you're going down. And, and, and remember this too, I save all the information. So by you doing that, we go to court with all these people, you can come to court too. And I hope you can pay for a lawyer. Because I will make it so freaking giant, we're going to have to order catering to feed everybody. I'm Axel. I'm out. 
working on another big special we're going to expose some other clowns in this industry so anyways like i said share the video like and subscribe because i'm the only guy in expedite with the big cojones to expose it all anybody got anything to say you want to be exposed i'm coming i'm coming and it includes you union and thanks for uh pointing some other stuff out for me you can always count on these guys they start talking and they're like little rats just giving up the information i'm axel i'm out catch you guys in the next one